If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, what's the difference between shy and social and introvert? Answer by Barry McGinnis. An introvert is someone who is temperamentally suited to solitary activities and close relationships as they find frequent social interactions to be overstimulating and, after a short while, draining. Shyness is a difficulty with entering into social interactions due to debilitating anxiety, self-consciousness and uncertainty. Having to interact evokes an overwhelming fear of others' judgments and reactions. Antisocial refers to unpleasant behavior that reveals a distinct lack of care or concern for others. People who are antisocial will do things deliberately to upset other people just for fun. So just to clarify, introversion has nothing to do with being antisocial. Many introverts are sensitive types who simply get overwhelmed too easily by loud group situations. Introverts are not antisocial. They are just not very sociable because constant interaction doesn't suit their temperament and is exhausting. Although introverts do generally need, and enjoy, more solitude than their extroverted counterparts, the idea that introverts are antisocial or don't want the company of others is completely false. They just tend to enjoy social interaction in a different way than extroverts do. Six myths about introverts to stop believing. Shyness also has nothing to do with being antisocial. Most shy people are sensitive but suffer from social anxiety, a sometimes overwhelming fear of having to interact with others. Although they would prefer to be sociable and easygoing, shyness cripples their ability to initiate even simple everyday interactions. Unlike introverts, who feel energized by time alone, shy people often desperately want to connect with others, but don't know how or can't tolerate the anxiety that comes with human interaction. Psychology Today But introverts are not necessarily shy. One can be a socially confident introvert. Bill Gates for example, is introverted, but not shy. Introverts are drained by social encounters and energized by solitary, often creative pursuits. Their disposition is frequently misconstrued as shyness, social phobia, or even avoidant personality disorder, but many introverts socialize easily. They just strongly prefer not to. Psychology Today Not all shy people are introverts. Even an extrovert can develop social anxiety, especially after some particularly scary or humiliating social experiences. Barbara Streisand for example, is said to be very outgoing but also shy. Some shy people find it easier to perform on stage. Many shy people actually find it easier to address a large audience than to engage in small, everyday interactions such as talking to a neighbor or phoning a friend. Interestingly, a lot of stand-up comedians are desperately shy. Answer by Alice Richards Shy people are afraid of social situations because they are afraid they won't fit in. So, they want to go to gatherings and be with people, but hold back because they don't want to be harshly judged. They may spend the evening in a corner. Antisocial people typically don't like people in general and don't care what happens to them. So, they may likely insult others or become otherwise aggressive or offensive. Introverts typically don't like social gatherings because they are easily overwhelmed by the activity, noise, and or shallow interactions. When they do attend, the frequency of attendance is limited, as is the length of time spent there. Think of the t-shirt that says, I came, I saw, I left early. Introverts prefer being alone with their own interests, or with just a handful of close friends, but it's not because they are nervous about not fitting in. It's the sensory overload thing that gets them, or being overwhelmed by all the chaos around large groups. Being around people just wears them out, so they need to go off to be alone and recharge. Spending so much time alone, they are usually deep thinkers who hate the shallow conversations typical of most social gatherings where deep conversations are usually not welcome. Answer by Kellen Von Hauser Antisocial equals psychopath or sociopath. The full term is antisocial personality disorder and it refers to psychopaths and sociopaths. It has absolutely nothing to do with being an introvert. They are antisocial because they refuse to abide by society's rules, values or norms. Introvert, someone who draws their energy from being alone. Being around people drains their energy. It's that simple. They do not dislike people. They are not shy or anxious around people. They do not dislike social events. Being social drains their energy. So they like people, they like being around people but they prefer social events which are small and intimate with some close friends instead of a party of 100 acquaintances. They require alone time to recharge their batteries. Shy, 
timidity, anxiety, or nervousness when they're around people. Shyness is often worse when around strangers, in strange situations or in large groups of people.